Hi, I'm Luann Aiken with Tagal Gardens here in Centennial, Colorado, and it is fall, but I want you to take a moment and think back to those beautiful images of your roses in the middle of summer. They were big and bright and bold, and now you have to let that go. To tell us why is Tom. He's our rose supervisor here at Tagal Gardens. Summer's over, it's fall, and to get back to those beautiful roses, there are some things we need to do now to give them a little TLC to work their way into the fall and winter, right? Well, now that it's fall, we should have already stopped pruning, stopped fertilizing, and we should now be getting ready for the roses to go to bed. Um, they need to uh, be cut back on their water so that they will go dormant and into the winter. Um, the other thing with a rose is that they uh, need to be insulated. We're going to fit a rose collar, and we're going to fill that rose collar with some media um, be it either grass, some dried leaves, and uh, or some pine needles. What exactly are we doing when we insulate a rose like this? Well, we're going to insulate it so that the canes that contain water will stop from freezing, that the uh, root system underneath it, it'll keep part of the ground warm, and it'll keep the main growth part of the rose from freezing as well. Anything we can do to keep that temperature good for the rose. And this top growth you're just going to leave in place for yes, now? Yes, you just leave it, you let it die off. When do we take it off? The collar, the insulation, the whole thing? We recommend starting to take it down um, around about St. Patrick's Day. Don't be tempted, even though they'll, they may start growing in January and February and starting to get looking like they're ready to burst out in bloom, don't be tempted to prune them. We have to wait until around about Mother's Day, Memorial Day, when we say Mother's Day, it depends on whether the weather has been like it has in the past and we end up with snow or a, a late uh, frost. So we usually leave it then till about Memorial Day and then we can start pruning and fertilising our roses to get them kick-started for the new year. So it's fall. Yep, there's a little bit of work to be done to TLC the roses just the way you want them. But think of what it is you want your garden to look like next year. All those beautiful roses, which will benefit so much by just the exact tips that Tom is talking about. In fact, he has a winter rose care tip sheet. So come some, see him, see the rest of our rose crew here at Tagawa's. We are your garden store and so much more. If you like this video, please share it with your friends and find others like it on our Tagawa Gardens YouTube channel. Also, find us on Facebook and Instagram.